gonna do an update of things from the last box from Love Every that Giovanna is and isn't using. Giovanna had her one year follow up at the NICU. We were a little bit late. So she is 16 months and she's corrected to about 14 or 14 and a half months. And she had the Bailey test to look at her developmental progression and she was on average normal, but she was a little slower on the expressive language compared to receptive language, her fine motor and her gross motor skills. So. <laughs> So she does love the ball drop as expected. Joanna, do you want to push? Good job. She likes pushing the balls, but more than that, she likes looking for the balls and playing with the doors. She actually does like the Montessori books though. She likes the real pictures and I think that's really helpful for her because like I said, she is a little bit later on her expressive language. So kind of practicing and especially practicing on those receptive language um, skills, like looking at her um, parts of her body and things um, is something that she's doing okay on and I think that having the books is helpful. Although I wish they were in Spanish and English, but that, that's just us because we're doing bilingual. Um, other things from the box, she had this circle puzzle. She does not play with this at all other than to take these out and chew on the ends. Um, so I, I don't know, I don't know how to make this more engaging for her. She doesn't really like it or want to put the objects or the puzzle pieces back into their spots. She did not do well on this in the Bailey testing. And something that I wish was kind of integrated is more shapes. There were a lot of shapes on the Bailey test and she really didn't participate with that at all. And I kind of feel like maybe had she had prior exposure to a more of a variety of shapes, she would have been more engaged, but Maybe not. This thing I think was great. This is the peg box and the slot box. Um, we've done mostly the slots because she just loved putting all of the carrots in her mouth and chewing on them. But she's done the um, slots a little bit and she's now doing the pegs a little bit. And she, I think that's really helpful because this was something on the Bailey test and she did terrible on the, the slots, but I think she would have done even worse if she hadn't had this toy. I don't know what this thing is called. It looks like a ring toss. Joanna loves taking these things, putting them down the ball drop, putting them in random spots, like in dropping them into boxes, taking the entire thing off of them and spewing them all over the place. Yep, that's her favorite thing to do with those. Uh, she doesn't really put them back. Um, and like I said, she didn't really do the shape sorting activities on the um, standardized testing. So I think this would be good for her to do, but how to make it so that she'll actually put them back, I don't know. Do you want to put them back? Nope. So the bunnies, when we first got the bunnies, she loved them. She put them in her mouth. She took them out and squished them. She put them back in here. We lost the first bunny like in the first day or we lost one of the bunnies in the first day. We've never found it. <coughs> oh my gosh. Did you forget about these? Where did the bunnies go? Are there any more? Where did they go? Oh, is that their house? You put them back to sleep. Okay. That's a bunny. Conejo. Conejo. <laughs> okay, here you go. No, okay. And I think that's all of the toys that we got. If we got more, then we've lost them. So it doesn't really matter and they, she didn't really like them. So that is our review of, oh, so kind of a summary of the box. Most of the things she really liked, I think that they were helpful for her standardized testing. This thing was a fail for us. And that's about it. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs>